Hey guys, what's going on? So I've got a vinyl update today. So I went to the record store today and I got two new records. Uh, one's actually 7-inch, the other one being uh, LP, obviously. But uh, the first one I'm, I'm really happy about. This is a Discharges Decontrol EP, 7-inch. Um, and this is actually a first press. I looked up everything. It's a Clay Records first press. So that's really cool. It's, not, it's in pretty mediocre condition. There's some scratches on the record. But it plays perfectly fine. And also, there's a the album cover, you know, that's really, like, bent and, like, old, but, uh, it came in a plastic sleeve, so that's nice, um, yeah, I got this for, like, five or six bucks, so that's really good, um, but, the, the sticker with the price on it was right here, and I was peeling extremely lightly, because I really didn't want to fuck up the album cover, but it just, like, after I took it off, like, it just came off really easily, and I'm pissed about that, but, I don't know, but, uh, there's the album cover, it's pretty cool, um, uh, at least it's not, like, where there's one of their faces on there or something that, like, would, that's crucial to the album cover, but, I don't know. And there's the back. I mean, if anything, that makes it look more, like, punk, I guess. You know, more messy. But, I don't know. I'm kind of pissed that I messed it up. Um, white dust sheet on the inside. And, uh, there's the record. So, yeah, there's a couple of scratches on here. Um, but, uh, it played perfectly fine. Um, obviously this is used and not... I mean, if this was unopened, this would definitely not be five bucks because it's the first press. But, um, you know, just really good. Uh, you know, street punk that definitely influenced a lot of crust punk, and uh, yeah, it's really great. Just Charger, one of my favorite punk bands, and it's really good. Very raw recording. Um, Calvin Morris's voice is very high pitched compared to Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing, and uh, the White EP, which I also own. Like his voice is really. I'm having a hard time getting this in here. I'm trying to be careful. His voice is a lot more nasally sounding, and uh, yeah, and it, just really fun songs actually. Um, just really good, great guitarists, uh, very lo-fi production, obviously, because this is a very old release from them, and, uh, yeah, so, Discharges, Decontrol, EP, I'm very happy to have this, um, so, yeah, um, really cool. Next record I got is Frosso from a British band, this is, uh, Scum by Napalm Death, um, surprised I found this at Chaos Records, because it's, like, a punk record store, but, uh, still really awesome. Um, I also got my other Napalm Death uh, record, the Peel Sessions, from there, so I guess they have stuff for Napalm Death. I don't know. Um, but this is one of their best albums. This is their first album, and, you know, their most influential and one of the most influential uh, albums ever. Pretty much the first Grindcore album, so uh, here's the album cover. Really amazing artwork. Um, I believe it was done by one of the guys from Carcass. Um, I used to think this was Pusshead artwork for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, it kind of looks like it, but... I don't know, but really cool. I could just stare at this album artwork for hours. It's just awesome. There's so much little detail. You've got, like, these, like, businessmen and then that skeleton thing with bat wings. And, of course, the classic old Napalm Death logo. I fucking love that logo. Pile of skulls with, like, you know, like, corporate, like, companies like McDonald's, fucking, um, like, Ford, Coca-Cola, Nestle, you know. Because um, they're very anti, uh, that kind of thing. And then, of course, it says scum and that really, really nasty looking font the bottom looks awesome uh there's the back with some pictures of the band and then the track listing there's like almost 30 songs on here i think um, i didn't count and there's no numbers i don't know the songs are all very short obviously because it's a grand core album and also this is a um full dynamic range ratio from uh, eureka printed inner sleeve um on this side you've got collage with a lot of like pictures and stuff of the band you could tell that they were listening to a lot of like punk around like because this is a very um, it's a grindcore album, but there's a lot of elements of, like, street punk, like that Discharge record I just showed. And, um, yeah. But I would definitely say it's a grindcore album, just with a lot of elements of, like, hardcore punk. And you can totally tell, though, because they're wearing, like, punk shirts, like, you know, see one of them is wearing a Minor Threat shirt. There's another part where there's a guy who has an SSD control sticker on his guitar, right? There. Which I think is pretty cool, because that's pretty obscure. A really good band. But, um, it just came on black vinyl, and the labels are pretty cool. So there's, you can't see because of the lighting. There's that one. And here's the other side. Also, this album is pretty famous for having two singers on, on one singer on the first side, and, and then the other guy, who was also sang on um, their uh, second album from 72 Obliteration, which is my favorite album from them. I can't wait for the refresh to come out. I'm definitely going to get that. Um, but yeah. Uh, here's the other side of the current dash sheet I forgot to show. Um, logo, and then much of, I think this is like either thank yous or fire notes, I don't write it yet. And then all the lyrics, and of course, for uh, you suffer. 
You suffer, but why? Great. Uh, if you don't know that song and, and you're in extreme metal, I don't know what to say to you. That's such a fucking awesome, hilariously awesome song. You know, it's like, literally, it's, it's pretty much being one of the shortest songs ever. It's literally only three fourths of a second. And it's hilarious. Um, even if you're not into like Rancor or anything like that, just listen to that song. So this is really funny. But uh, yeah. This is just an excellent release. Really fucking raw. Really, you know, kick in the face. Just awesome. Grandcore. You know, a lot of great songs like um, Instinct of Survival has some really good riffs. The Kill. Uh, the title track is amazing. Um, and then, of course, You Suffer, like I just mentioned. Uh, a lot of really good song titles, too, like, you know, Human Garbage, Born on Your Knees, Polluted Minds, Caught in a Dream, Parasites, Pseudo Youth, As the Machine Rolls On. Uh, you know, just really, really good. Prison Without Walls. Um, but Side 1 is actually more better produced than Side 2. Side 2 is more raw sounding. And, um, you know, just your basic thing you'd expect from uh, early Napalm Death. And if you haven't heard this, this is like the, this is pretty much the essential uh, Napalm Death uh, album. If you're a Grindcore fan, this is one of those albums that you have to own. I'm not massively into Grindcore. I don't like a whole lot of bands. Other than Napalm Death, Carcass, Pig Destroyer, and Agora Fork, Nosebleed. I haven't really explored a whole lot of Grindcore, but... Um, this is just an absolutely great album. Um, I'm really happy to have this. Just really awesome, you know, very raw. Um, side 2 is more rawly produced. Like, you could totally tell it was recorded in, like... I don't know, like an independent studio or, like... Uh, like somebody's basement. I don't know. Uh, but really just very just awesome and... Pretty heavy for its time, definitely, because I think when, the, when this came out, in what, like, A7? A, yeah, A7. Because it, it, Side 1 says it was recorded in August of 1986, and Side 2 in May 1987, so this came out in A7. So the heaviest album at that time was probably, like, Rain and Blood, or, or if, uh, if Scream Blade Gore was already out, than that. But uh, this is just a killer album. I'm really happy to have this. And uh, this is actually um, almost sold out, I believe. So it's really cool. I was actually almost going to order this um, a month ago, but uh, yeah, really cool. Nippon Death Scum. So yeah, I was going to turn out a lot shorter than I intended, but uh, yeah, two records I got today. So Discharges D Control EP First Press and uh, Nippon Death Scum. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.